Hi, it's Dave. And in today's video, I want to show you how to make your website more interactive. And we're going to do that by adding some interactivity. And by doing that, I mean adding some text boxes so the user can input their own information and um, interact that way with the web page. And what we're going to do is, if you remember on my projects page, I used to say the answer to 12345 plus 67890 um, was this answer. And that answer was calculated by calling the server. What we're going to do now is replace those hard-coded numbers with text boxes and then put an equals button so the user would click that and then that would call the server and then the answer would appear to the right. Um, so I just got started on it already and um, what I did so far was I took out what we had there before and I put in a uh, input tag which is basically the text box. I do input type equals text then a plus sign and then input type equals text and then a button with an equal sign on it and then I leave our answer tag. If you remember on the, in the other video we put an answer variable in the squiggly braces here. Um, that means whatever answer we set in our controller uh, appears on the page. And right now the answer is 80235 because the code is still adding up those two hard-coded numbers and putting the answer in that answer variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the values from these text boxes, text boxes we're going to uh, make that server call with those two values instead of the hard-coded values and then we're going to take the answer like we normally do and put it in that answer variable. So uh, so like I said, so far I've done the visual aspect of it. I'm going to save that. Nope. Save. Refresh. There we go. Looking good. So that's in projects.j. That's the view. Um, but right now we're going to take a look in public. JS. Controllers. And as you can see, here's our server call. We do API add two numbers, and then we have the two hard-coded numbers. So let's see if we can change these numbers now. So instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, we'll say plus first num, which means concatenate first num there, and then do second num. Oops. So, so now this is going to be two variables. Um, let's put var first num equals zero, var second num equals zero. Now instead of zero, we want to actually take what's on the form. So the way we do that is by going back to our view, and we're going to do some Angular JS right now. Angular is remember the front end framework, which is which allows us to make these controllers. It allows us to write code which drives these views, which drives what these views do. So um, some special Angular markup um, that we're gonna use here is called ng-model. So within the input, we say type equals text, comma, ng-model equals first num. And then for the other input, we'll do ng-model equals second num. You'll see what all this means in a second. So I added those two pieces to the input and within the button I'm going to say ng click equals um, calculate answer. So we're going to make a function called calculate answer which will get called when we click the button. So take a look in, again at what we did here. We just added basically three attributes to the to the input tags and to the button. The first two attributes are um, it's called ng model, which means whatever you put in the quotes next to it is the name of that variable. So if we want to give a name to the first box, we call it first num. A name to the second box, we call it second num. And then lastly, we add a command called ng click. Oh, sorry, it's actually ng dash click, which. Um, which allows you to make some functionality. So when you click on that item, and in this instance it's a button, when you click on the button, it does whatever's in the quotes. And in the quotes, we put a, a, serve, a, a function call. So we're going to define that function right here in our controller. So what we say is scope dot, um, what did I call it? Calculate answer, copy. I'm going to say scope dot calculate answer equals function. This is JavaScript now. 
open parentheses. So I just made a function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this server call that we had automatically getting called. We're going to take this server call out and we're going to put it in this function. So it only gets called when we tell it to get called. We don't want the server calling, being called um, with our numbers. We don't want it being called right away when we load the page because then there won't be any numbers in the text boxes. We want the user to type the number in the text box and then when we click the button, then it does all this stuff. So that's the reason for the function. Semicolon. So what I did was I wrote out the function, then I moved the server call inside it. And then all I gotta do now is type scope dot first num. Say the first num variable and then scope dot second num and save that into the second num variable. And this should work. This is What this does is it takes those ng model um, variables, saves it in some local variables, and then we use those local variables in our server call. So let's give it a shot and see how this works. Refresh. Nope, there's an error. Usually you can tell there's an error because your variables aren't filling out. So what I do is I right click inspect element console Let's see, we have an unexpected identifier, line 32, scope.firstNum. Oh, you know what I think we're doing wrong? I think we have to actually initialize our scope variables here outside of the function. Let's see if this works. So I started as zero. Let's refresh that. Nope, that's still not working. What am I doing wrong here? Calculate answer ng model equals first num ng model equals second num let me see here unexpected identifier on line 35 oh maybe I can't oh sorry I'm confusing everyone <laughs> I cannot actually declare variables within this server call because um, this is an object you see there's like HTTP colon squiggly braces. Um, there's really only data that goes in here, not variables. So I'm gonna take this out. Um, control X, let's put, that, let's put that outside the server call. So we set our variables and then we call the server call. That's actually how you should do that. Let's refresh the page and looks looks good, looks good. So as you can see, it defaulted to zero. So let's type two, two, two. And let's type 333, hit equals, boom, 555. Five, five. Let's take a look at our terminal. As you can see, it called add two numbers, 222, 333. Keep looking at that terminal. I'm going to do two more numbers, 444 and 445. I'm going to hit equal sign. Let's see what happens. Boom, 444, 555, five, five, and there's your answer. So that's it, folks. We just made an interactive web page, user input. It takes the user input, calls the server call that we made in a previous video, and then displays the result on the page. That's pretty much how you do it. Till next time, Dave out.